Hello, welcome all of you. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of this radical expression. The given expression is square root of 64 to the power 2 plus 49 to the power 2 plus 15 to the power 4 all divided by 2. We have to find the value of it but no calculator allowed. So let's get started and see how we can find out. This is equal to square root of 64 can be written as 8 to the power 2, 8 square and this whole power 2 plus 49 is as same as 7 square whole power 2 plus 15 can be written as 8 plus 7 whole power 4 divided by 2. This is equal to square root of 8 to the power will be multiplied. So 8 to the power 4 plus 7 to the power 4 this will be written as it is 8 plus 7 to the power 4 divided by 2. We are going to let some values here. Let 8 as A and 7 is equal to B. So putting these values in the given expression. Square root of this is equal to A to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus this is a plus b to the power 4 divided by 2. Now we are going to solve this a plus b to the power 4 first using binomial theorem. Binomial theorem gives us an expression to calculate or expand a plus b to any power n. So let me show you how this binomial theorem works a plus b to the power let's suppose n when this n it is also called index when this index is 0 the coefficient is 1 when this index is 1 the coefficient will be 1 1 when this index will be 2 the coefficient will be 1 and 1 plus 1 2 1 when the index is 3, the coefficient will be 1, then 2 plus 1, 3, 2 plus 1, 3, and 1. When the index is 4, as in our case, this power 4, the coefficient will be 1, 3 plus 1, 4, 3 plus 3, 6, 3 plus 1, 4 and 1. One main thing we can see the first and last coefficient will be 1. So how this a plus b to the power 4 will be calculated? As we know when power is 4 the coefficient will be 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So let's write the coefficient first. 1. 4, 6, 4, 1. First variable will be written in decreasing form from first till last. So, a to the power 4, then a to the power 3, then a to the power 2, then a to the power 1, a, and a to the power 0 may 1. And uh, b, second variable will be written in increasing form. So, b to the power 0 mean 1. And uh, then b to the power 1, then b to the power 2, then b to the power 3, then b to the power 4. This is equal to 1 times a to the power 4 is a to the power 4 plus 4a cube b plus 6a square b square plus 4ab cube plus 1 times b to the power 4 is b to the power 4. I hope it is clear to you. If you want me to make a separate detailed video on binomial theorem, do write in the comment box. I will definitely make it for you. For now, square root of a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 and value of this a to the power 4 plus 4a cubed b plus 6a square 
b square plus 4 a b cubed plus b to the power 4 divided by 2. In the next step, we are going to add the like terms. a to the power 4 plus a to the power 4, 2 a to the power 4, b to the power 4 plus b to the power 4, 2 b to the power 4. We will write this term first. 6 a square b square and then this and this. 4 a cubed b plus 4 a b cubed divided by 2. From the numerator we can take 2 as common. So 2 and inside bracket we have a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus 2 3 times 6 a to the power 2 b to the power 2 plus 2 times 2 is 4. Similarly 2 times 2 is 4 divided by 2. This 2 and 2 will be cancelled out. We are left with square root of a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus 3a square b square plus 2a cubed b plus 2ab cubed. This is equal to a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 we can split this 3a square b square as 2a square b square plus a square b square because 2 plus 1 will give us 3a square b square again. And from here we can take 2ab as common. Inside bracket we have a square here plus b square here. Now we can see that a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus 2a square b square is an algebra identity which is equal to a square plus b square whole square plus a square b square can be written as a b whole square plus rest part as it is. Here we are going to let some more values. Let a square plus b square is equal to any value m and this a b as n. So after putting these values the expression will become square root of this is equal to m so m square plus this is equal to n n square plus 2 a b mean n and a square plus b square is m so m times n m n square root of m square plus n square plus 2 m n is an algebra identity which is equal to m plus n whole square here square and root will be cancel out. We are left with m plus n. We will put in the value of m and n back which we let here. m is equal to a square plus b square plus n is a b. We also let the value of a and b in start. a is 8 and b is 7. So let's put the values of a and b. a square mean 8 square plus b square mean 7 square plus 8 times 7. 8 square means 64, 7 square means 49, 8 times 7 is 56. If we add these three numbers 6 plus 9, 15 plus 4, 19. 1 carry 6 plus 4, 10 plus 5, 15 and 1, 16. 169. This is the final and required value of this radical expression 169. Go and check all the steps once again. If you like the solution, please thumbs up. You can visit the channel for more informative videos. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.